in terms of $250 per kilowatt hour. But as a group collectively, we are all working towards that target and have roadmaps internally to get to that target. Um, I think what's happening really now is really critical and is really the first step to getting there, which is breaking that chicken and egg cycle. Right now, before, battery manufacturers couldn't build in the volumes required to reach a higher volume throughput on automotive grade cells to reach anywhere close to that target. And automa automakers couldn't provide those purchase orders because they didn't see the product. And so that negative cycle, I think, for the first time in We're history, is being, is being broken by the DOE with that vision to break it and as an investment in, in terms of society's future. So I think we're, we're moving forward, we're getting there. We're looking to start doing some of the first uh, reuse of uh, automotive grade battery packs for grid applications to start investigating whether or not it is possible to take 80% by Power's still there. Power's still there at 80%. Reuse that for a station. Would you call that energy banking? Uh, is it storing uh, energy for a, a, a micro site or is it part of the overall macro utility operations? Good question. Still to Do you be have determined. a utility partner in that? Um, Are you working with some utilities already? We're looking to work with some utilities. I would assume are Canadian and US. Probably. Yep. Yeah. Gitanjali, it's great. Good to have you here. Good to have your dad on the program. Yeah. Great company. Always uh, out there on the on the edge. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Okay.